This is video number one of my three-part tutorial series where we're gonna prompt an abstract image like this in mid-journey and that with a useful shortcut. Then we're gonna use the generated image for part two to create an animation in After Effects. And in the third tutorial, I'll be showing you how to bring the 2D animation into 3D space via AI. To generate these, 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 and these images took me a lot of time to prompt engineer, only to get organic textures with lines radiating from the center. And it took me a lot of trial and error to make the lines meet in the center, until the output got more and more consistent. But how do you even start to describe such an abstract image? And is there even a faster way to prompt them? Let me show you. Physical objects are much easier to prompt. Photograph of a flying vintage DeLorean surrounded by white fluffy clouds. To get what you have in mind, it's helpful to know the specialized terminology of the specific matter. If you want to prompt good photography, you have to know what contre-jour means. To generate inspiration for illustration, it's beneficial to be familiar with some groundbreaking illustration artists. And as a motion designer, I believe it's important not only to know Andrew Kramer, but also Oskar Fischinger. So some basic research in a specific field is beneficial. For example, to prompt explosions, I found out that there are three types of explosions, namely chemical, mechanical and nuclear explosions. Additionally, it's also good to know synonyms for the same term. This is a drapery. Whereas this is an arrangement of folds. Back to our issue. How do you even start prompting an abstract image you have in mind that is common in VFX and motion design? Let's assume you want to create something like this, which I prompt engineered from scratch. At this time of recording, approaching the end of 2023, it's not possible yet to precisely control the movement of the generated image. But things are really going fast right now. While doing this video, Runway ML introduced the motion brush feature to add movement to certain portions of the image. Probably it'll be outdated as soon as I publish this video. However, right now you cannot tell AI that the lines should grow starting from the center. But because it's a flat image, it's perfect to animate it in After Effects the way you want it, with full control over the animation. But first things first. What you could do to find inspiration for prompting is to explore one of the public AI galleries that come with the full prompts. But it may take some time until you find the desired image, let alone an abstract one. But here is my cheat to save yourself from the long process of prompt engineering. You've already seen this image that I prompted. Let's assume you found it somewhere and you want to prompt something like this. You can take the image and let Midjourney find out the appropriate prompt for this by using the describe command. Drag the footage into the box and let Midjourney do the thinking. Midjourney offers four different prompt proposals, especially the last one starts poetically. My black background is the first thing you see until you take a closer look. Let's push the button to imagine them all. Not quite satisfactory. These ones with the flowers are not abstract enough. The next ones look more like rough brushwork. These come quite close because all of them start in the center, but still missing the fine lines. And the last ones look like the way to hell. You can even see little people here. Let's try it with Clip Interrogator 2, which is accessible to the public via HuggingFace.co. Drop the image here to extract a prompt from this image. Takes more time than mid-journey, but does it give us a better prompt? Here is what it spits out. A close-up of a black and gold abstract painting, a microscopic photo by Anna Füssli, generative art, volumetric dust rays rendered in Maya and Houdini, intricate illuminated lines, universe in a grain of sand. Sounds plausible, but who the heck is Anna Füssli? This is what Wikipedia says. Anna Füssli was a Swiss painter. 
She specialized in flower and insect paintings. And this is her, and this is the only picture I found from her on the web. Not really enlightening, but based on the information about her, maybe because my image remotely resembles an abstract flower. Let's copy this prompt and paste it into Midjourney to check what it generates. I'm impressed. Not bad at all. And I would leave it like that if it was possible to let it animate in high quality, which is not the case at the moment with common AI tools. But that's at least a better starting point than what Midjourney offered. However, we're still far away from what we're looking for. So let's change it to 2D planar top view of a black and gold abstract painting and so on. Looks better. Looking organically. But let's see if we can make the prompt more efficient by removing the parameters we don't really need. It's not a microscopic photo anymore, so we can delete this phrase and reduce the prompt to 2D planar top view of a black and gold abstract painting, comma, by Anna Fusli, and so on. I'll just leave Anna Fusli here to honor a forgotten artist. I think the lines got finer. Now, let's try if it makes any difference when we leave the comma. Not really, but it gave us this beautiful image that looks electric. And this brings me to the idea to change intricate illuminated lines to intricate electric lines. Now, this is exactly what we need. Tender electric looking lines spreading from the center. Let's scale the image up and create subtle variations to see if we can get even better results. This also looks good, not significantly better, but let's decide later which one we'll take. But what if we try to change the aspect ratio? Well, that ruins the way the lines spread from the center. But that doesn't matter because we can go back to our initial images. And I'll choose this one because it's not so overexposed in the center. Zoom it out to get more leeway to work with. Then we can upscale it 4 times to keep it crisp when we zoom in again later. And this is the image we can go for in After Effects. But to create an animation, we also need an empty background without the lines. Just for the sake of trying it out, we can also use Vary Region to get a clean background plate. With one of the selection tools, you can set the region you want to change. Then you can prompt something like Black Granite, sorry, I forgot the last E in Granite, but Midjourney understands it anyway. Well, it produces some weird images. The upper right might be a good basis with a little photoshopping. Let's try another one with a slightly varied prompt. Looks better blended. But no matter how hard you try, you'll never get an empty background with a topography that matches the electric lines from the original image. But relax, in part 2 of this tutorial series, we'll not only create a proper clean background and isolate the electric lines, we're also going to use these elements to create this animation in After Effects. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. I would be happy to see you back for the second tutorial. See you next time.